I'm Jared Barfus with Innovation Simple, and today we're talking about lead generation. Lead generation seems to be the topic that business owners and marketers are most interested in. At the end of the day, they're doing their marketing to produce leads. So what we're introducing to you today is the way that we view lead generation on a holistic level. The value of thinking, uh, thinking about leads on a holistic level and how they're generated is it helps you free up your mind to the different ways that you can approach lead generation. So let's get right to it. The first thing we'd like to introduce is basically the three different categories or groups of lead generation strategies. The first is online strategies. Now, in and of itself is a huge opportunity for generating leads. There's lots of different ways to generate leads online. But as a group, we like to think of it um, with these types of activities, generally speaking. Again, several ways, but here's a few main ones. SEO or search engine optimization. Uh, and also PPC or pay-per-click advertising are both strategies that you would do through a search engine like Google or Yahoo, okay? The main idea here is you're attracting, <clears throat> you're looking to get in front of people who are actively searching for services that relate to what you're offering. Social media, there's plenty of uh, platforms and ways to develop business that way. Niche sites and also email, um, we would all consider um, online types of strategies. Email kind of unique in that way. But niche sites, the main idea there is there's plenty of ways of getting present <clears throat> on websites that would relate uh, to the type of customer you want to appeal to as well. There's a couple of features that these types of strategies all share in general. They, of course, are digital, but they tend to be more engaging than other media resources. And they're also self-directed by the, uh, the searcher or the person that's engaging with the media resource. Now, uh, it's engaging because there's opportunities to introduce video and other elements that kind of create a, a cohesive experience for the, uh, for the uh, experiencer of, of your media. <clears throat> it's also highly shareable and very measurable. Every click um, and every step of, of engagement that someone has with your media piece in an online uh, uh, platform, an online world, it uh, gives them the, <clears throat> excuse me, Gives, gives them the opportunity to, gives the marketer opportunity to measure every step of that process, which helps them in, in pivoting and growing, the, in growing the marketing effort. Second to that would be offline. Now, online uh, has become so central in lead generation that you can almost call almost every other effort an, on, an offline strategy. These are traditional media sources, TV, radio, billboards, mailers, print ads, virtually anything that would happen offline. Now, the reason we're seeing, looking at these as a group is because largely people are making their buying decisions and their final uh, comparisons when they're on an online resource. That means these other areas, again, radio, TV, uh, mailers, and others, that these resources uh, complement the online efforts by, in essence, leading them to those online resources. That's largely how we view those efforts and largely how people are using, uh, marketers are using those resources today. Uh, print is usually the platform for a lot of these, although you can think of broadcast uh, categories, or broadcast uh, methods as, uh, in this category as, as well. Um, often you're, you're using these uh, resources as an awareness tool, but often there's direct marketing channels or opportunities with it too where you're looking directly to drive someone from, say, a mailer piece to a phone call or to a visit or some kind of uh, uh, action that you're looking to, to engage them with. And, uh, and so that's, that's the idea with an offline category. And then lastly, a largely overlooked category of lead generation for marketers is live methods. And live methods is basically that category of any type of uh, media or, or, excuse me, media lead generation effort that's engaged, uh, that's implemented with a live person. So that means uh, phone calls or some kind of face-to-face -face or some kind of sales rep that's then leading that lead generation effort. So clearly direct sales methods by phone, in person, drop-bys, door knocking, um, referral gathering efforts we would usually consider as a, lead, as a live activity because often um, if you're going to make an active effort to generate referrals rather than just a passive receive them as they come type of method, then largely that's something that's going to happen with engagement with a salesperson or somebody who's, who's directly developing that. Partnerships uh, developing, the idea with partnerships of course is that 
um, once you establish a partnership, there's going to be that passive stream of leads that comes from that partner. But typically, there's going to be some kind of initial contact or effort that has to be made by a live individual. And then often some kind of follow-up method to keep that flow of leads coming your way. So we view partnerships as a type of live effort. And then also, of course, phone calls or any other face-to-face -face type of visit. The power of this is it's, it's very customizable. You can have the sales rep or the individual developing the leads, actively engaging with the, the other individual that you're intending to do you know, business with or develop the lead with. And so the customization is very uh, active there. It can be very engaging as well. Have you ever had that experience where you're working with a salesperson and frankly, you're not particularly interested, but because they're there, you can't kind of separate away. Nobody likes that feeling on the customer end, but at the same time, it's proven to be effective in many instances and is the power of that live piece. Whereas if you're compare, comparing it to offline or even online opportunities, as soon as somebody, just the second they lose interest, they're going to step away from that media piece and move on to something else. Whereas the live uh, individual can keep that engagement going and keep that contact. And then also, uh, again, if it hasn't been clear, so this, so to kind of look, excuse me, to look at all these pieces then together, you're looking at your online strategies, your offline and live efforts, online delivered uh, through um, online resources, um, offline for anything that's uh, not digital online, but often would lead to it, and then live efforts. Well, that's a, a quick overview. There's plenty of ways that you can leverage these different resources for many different ways to grow a business, regardless of the type of business you grow. And uh, watch for other videos then where we drill into some specifics on how to deliver these for different, uh, different opportunities for you.